Good morning to you on this beautiful Mother's Day, second Sunday in May. We thank God for you and we're praying for you that the Lord will continue keeping you. We're praying that the Lord will continue blessing and opening doors for you like never before. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. May God bless you. And we just want to thank God for this opportunity to come to you one more time. The Lord woke us up early this morning, clothed in our right mind. Yes. And we want to give him glory and praise. Yes. And we just thank God for this Mother's Day. We pray for mothers that the Lord will continue keeping you is our prayer. We thank God for our First Lady. Elder Shannon Deans, she's coming today, amen, and bring an awesome word of God, and we're just waiting what the Lord has to say through her. So now we want to present the psalm and introduce the others, amen. Our First Lady of Howard's Chapel Church, Elder Shannon Deans. Before she comes, we're going to have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we pray yes. that, God, that you will continue healing the nation, healing yes. the people. We pray, God, that on this Mother's Day that you bless the mothers that are still with us, and we're praying for those that's gone on before us. We pray for those God, that says, when you pray, pray for me. Yes. We ask you to send your word, God, in the name of Jesus. Send your anointing in this place like never before. God, send your word with clarity, with power, and with the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. God bless you, First Lady. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. I thank God for our being here. I thank God for you, you, and you. Um, I tell you, this is an awesome day that the Lord has made. Another Mother's Day. Even though this may be the first time we're going through what we're going through, but we get to share our love for our family, and we get to see them and praise God for them. Um, thank God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I would just like to wish all my Howard Chapel Church family a happy Mother's Day. For all those who mothers have gone on to glory, you know that they are celebrating with Jesus on this day, and they are rejoicing. And while we rejoice on earth, they are rejoicing in heaven, and we thank God for them. Hallelujah. I said, but we know that the heart goes weary, and we're praying for all those who have lost their mother. God, one day we will see them again. Yes. Amen. 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 I will not be before you long, thus says the Lord. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. I will be coming today from Luke, the seventh chapter, the 37th verse. Amen. 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 And behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of oil yeah. and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with her tears mm. and did wipe them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisees which had bidden him saw it, yes, he spake within himself saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him. Yeah. For she is a sinner. Amen. 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 If you will all bow your heads and pray with me. Oh, Heavenly Father, 
God, I'm asking you to come into this place, God, like never before, God, as we celebrate not only another Mother's Day, but another day we have never seen, God. Thank you, God, for giving us the activities of our limbs, life, and our body. Now, God, I'm asking you, God, to hide me behind the cross, God, that I may not sin against thee. Allow me to speak the words that you have me to say, God, and when you stop speaking, allow Allow me to sit in your glory, God. God, bless every listener. Yes. Bless everyone on this broadcast, God. Bless them in a mighty way. Yes, Heal God. the brokenhearted. Yes. Heal the sick, God. Touch the lame, God. Mm -hmm. Open up blind eyes, God. And open up every here ear so they can hear the word of God yeah. and not just be hearers of the word of God but be doers also in Jesus name I pray amen amen now studying on this week I was pondering and asking God what would he have me to say and he took me to several different books in the Bible well I went to several different books in the Bible trying to get what I wanted to say and then God took over and he took me to Luke chapter 7 and took me to the woman with the alabaster box now in Luke recording as we know there are four Gospels a man in Mark in Matthew he said it was a woman having an alabaster box a very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at me that's what my Matthew said he just called her a woman in Mark 14 he said that a woman came having an alabaster box of ointment and he named the ointment and called it spikenard a very precious ointment and very expensive amen yeah. and poured it on his head mm -hmm. now in the book of John chapter 11 on the second verse he said it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair who brother was Lazarus who was sick amen so you get very different versions of this woman. But I chose the Lord had led me to Luke because he didn't give her a name. He he let you see her from man's point of view. They didn't see her name or see who she was or see that it was Lazarus' sister. What they saw was a sinner walking in, weeping and crying and into Pharaoh's house. Yeah. You know, Pharaoh's house, uh, uh, the Sadducee, not, not the Sadducee, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, the Sadducee, the ones who won't, didn't go, go with God's word, Pharisee. didn't believe Jesus' word. Pharisee. Pharisee yeah. didn't believe Jesus' word, but he still called him to come sit at his house. Amen. Just to see, because he had just healed so many folks and delivered so many folks and spoke an uh, awesome word and miracles were happening. And when this woman heard that Jesus was at the Pharisee house, she came into the house amongst all the men walking by and she was just crying and weeping and weeping because she was trying to get to Jesus. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And when she got to Jesus, the Bible says she stood behind him weeping. Now we know in those days it was a custom when they eat they would kneel. Amen. And they will sit on the back of their their feet. Amen. So they would kneel down. And so she went behind him with his feet exposed and she was just crying and weeping with her tears and they fell upon Jesus' feet and she wiped them with her hair. Amen. Yeah. She dried Jesus' feet off with her hair. And we know in the word it says a woman's hair is her glory. So she gave God everything she had. Amen. And then she took this box, this precious box of oil, 
that she had poured everything in. That she has spent so much money on. Adding to it. Adding to it. Year after year. Until she got this little box filled. And she brought this ointment to Jesus. Amen. And she anointed his feet. Amen. And not on his feet. His head too. Amen. Now God gave me a subject on this morning. Well. And the subject was. You don't know. The cost of my praise. Amen. Right. Right. You don't know what Mary. Amen. Because in John, he said her name was Mary. But it also said she was a sinner woman. And then they said a certain woman. You know how it is when certain people ask, who is Lady Dean's? Some would say, oh, she, she's a trip. She's crazy. She she loves to have fun. Then some would say, well, she's a woman of God. She this and she that. Or she my sister. Or she my best friend. So everybody got a different analogy of who we are. But the thing I like about this, God used this verse to put us all in. Because it could have been any of us letting us know if we come to him humble thirsty, yeah. wanting to receive just a repentance of our sin, letting Jesus know we are sorry for everything we have done, everything that we have been through, every sin, sin that we ever caused, and we are not even worthy to be in his presence. Amen? Amen. They said a broken, sobbing, unclaimed woman entered into the house where Jesus was dying. And she anointed his feet with oil and tears and wiped them with her hair. And they said, and the men that were around him was upset with him. Saying if Jesus was a true prophet, he would know that this is a sinner woman. And he wouldn't allow her to touch him. But God won't look at the outside. Amen. He was looking at her heart. And she came with a pure heart. And that's how we have to come unto Jesus yeah. with a pure heart. Not worrying about what everybody else has to say. Not worrying about what everybody else think of us. Not worrying about what everybody, how everybody feel about us. When you are desperate and when you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, amen, right. you know when enough is enough. And you will go to Jesus any means necessary. Yes. Crawling, begging, yes, weeping, just a truth with your heart wide open. Letting God know how hurt, how broken that she was. Amen. And she wanted forgiveness. Now, when I went back and I read in John and it spoke on Lazarus and how Lazarus died. And I, and I read about Mary, the same Mary was kneeling at his feet. And they said, this happened right in between after God resurrected Lazarus and right before Jesus' crucifixion. So this is when Mary began praising God. Resting at his feet, trying to trying to grab every word coming out of his mouth. Then when tragedy happened, amen, just like we do. When something bad comes our way, we forget about the God we serve. And we only caught up in the pain that we feel at the moment. But weeping may endure for a night, yeah. but joy will come in the morning. Yes, and it said that she went to, went to Jesus and told him, if you would have been here, my brother would have lived. My brother would not have died. And she was crying and she was hurt. So at that moment, she forgot who Jesus really was. And then as the days went on and she saw that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead and she saw the miracles and she followed him and saw, because you know there's nothing you can do when you're doing a work for the Lord. Somebody got something to say. You're going to hear it one way or another, but that's all right. Because Jesus knew what his task was. So when Mary heard that Jesus was at the Pharisee's house, she got her little bottle of ointment and she ran and she came weeping and crying and sobbing unto Jesus. And just she didn't even have to say a mumbling word because God knew her heart. Amen. That's us. 
That's how God feel about us. We don't have to say a word. God knows our hearts. And you got to know that this is going to cost you something. Amen. You don't know my story. So that's why you don't understand my praise. There's some things that was God delivered you from some of your sins. God said to the man, that God said to, the, to Simon, amen. He told him in the 7th chapter, the 44th verse, he says, See thou this woman, I entered into your house, and you gave me no water to wash my feet. But she washed my feet with her tears, and she wiped them with her hair. Thou didn't give me a kiss when I entered in your house. But this woman hadn't ceased from kissing my feet since I entered in. My head with oil thou didn't even anoint. You didn't anoint my head when I walked into your house. Amen. You invited me in, but did you really want me in? Amen. He said, but this woman anointed my feet. Amen. And anointed my body. Because this woman needed forgiveness. It says in the word that her sins were many. It was much sin. So she had much love. Amen. And because of her sin was so mass, God forgave her of all of them. That's why her praise was so great. No matter what we've done. No matter what we could have done. No matter what no one said about us. God's love is so great for us. He'll forgive us of every sin. There's no sin of commission or omission that we do. That God won't forgive us for. He said he shed his blood. For the remission of our sins. So there's nothing we can do. Amen. That God won't forgive us. But he said we have to come to him. Like a child. With a pure heart. Coming to him. Telling God all your sorrows. Those things you wouldn't tell nobody else. You can tell it to Jesus. And he'll hear it. And he will answer every prayer. He'll mend the broken heart. You see what I'm saying? This thing cost you something. Now she went and she had to go before these men looking at her. Right in her face talking about her. How many of you know it's going to cost you something? Amen. Yes. Amen. This, this, this praise, this anointing is going to cost you something. Amen. You're going to lose some friends because of this anointing. Amen. Yeah, yeah. It's some people going to fall beside the wayside. Amen. You're going to be talked about for the anointing God has in store for you. Yeah. It's going to cost you something. This time when we get back in church, it's going to be some folks that ain't been there. That are not even able to make it through the door. And then you come in still happy, God, and healthy with the activity of your limbs. I dare you to sit on a pew and act like God ain't done nothing for you. Well, in fact, I dare you to sit in your house and act like he ain't did nothing for you. Because yeah. this praise is going to cost you something. Yeah. This praise, amen, you can't stop my praise, amen, for everything that he has done for me. I give him glory because if it had not been for the Lord well, who was on my side, yes, well, amen, 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 well, amen, will we be, amen. Because in Luke 12, amen, verse 48, he said, for unto whosoever much is given, mm -hmm. amen, amen. Of him shall be much required. Yes, sir. Amen. And to whom men have committed much. Amen. Of him they will ask the more. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Everybody want, want your anointing. Yes, sir. Don't tell somebody you want their anointing. Because no, you might can't go through what they went through to get it. Yes, amen. You don't know what it took. Amen. What it cost them for what God has given them. So you might can't handle it. So all you have to say, God, whatever you have for me, it is for me. Amen. I don't want nobody else.
stuff. Uh, I just want the stuff with my name on it. Uh, God, give me, God, that portion, God, uh, that you say that's for me, laid up in heaven, God. And I'll give you glory, God. I'll give you praise. Amen. Amen. Philippians say, I can do all things, all things, all things through Christ that strengthen me. Amen. In Romans, amen, 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things work together for our good to them that love the Lord, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen. This thing going to cost you something. Amen. Amen. You're going to lose some friends. People ain't going to act right when they know you serving God. They're going to try you when they know you serving God. Amen. They're going to see if the same old you going to jump out. Amen. Amen. But don't catch you on the wrong day. Because the spirit don't dwell in us always. But we know we have grown when you can hold your peace. God said you can get angry. But sin not. Well, that means whatever they say, don't you worry about it. Yes, Let it fall off your shoulder. You don't have to fight this battle. It belongs to the Lord. Yeah. This is my praise. It costs me something. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to let any old devil yes, try to steal my joy. Yes, any old devil is not going to yeah. come up in my house oh, and destroy yeah. my home. Ah, we got to get it right at the house. Glory for everything he done for me. Yes, I'm going to give him glory 
when they talk about me. I'm going to give him glory huh, when they lie on me. Huh? I'm going to give him glory when they use me. Amen. I'm going to give him glory in spite of, because huh? I know the God I serve. It's, it's not about me. It's not about us. Yes, you're going to go through something. No one said this was going to be easy. He said, stay in the race. He said, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but the them that endure to the end. So it doesn't matter if you don't finish this thing. It doesn't matter where you started out at. Only thing matters is where you end up. And I am determined to see Jesus for myself. So this thing is going to cost you something. And I'm not talking about the cost of the alabaster box, the oil, the money. They said it was worth 300 pence that could have been given to the poor. But she used it on you. But she was preparing Jesus, amen, for his crucifixion, amen. They didn't know. Men don't know what you go. They don't know your purpose. They don't know your calling unto God. And it's not for them to know your calling. But do you know it? Mm. Do you know what he called you to do? Yes, do you know what he told you to do? My God. Will you do it in spite of? Yes, in spite of what they say about you? Mm. In spite of how they look at yes, you? In spite of them trying to destroy you? Trying to take you out? Trying to make you lose your mind? Yeah, trying to get you in depression. Yes, sir. Trying to make form roots on you. Yeah. Would you praise him in the house? Will you praise him in the house? Because you know the God you serve. You got to know it for yourself. Yes, sir. Amen? Because every woman in the Bible and man who served after Christ went through something. Yes, sir. The woman with the issue of blood had to press her way. Yes, through the masses. She wasn't even supposed to be in there. She was supposed to be outside of the gates. I can touch the hands. But she made her way through. Yes, sir. Got so tight she had to crawl down on her knees to get to Jesus. Yes, but she was determined if I could just touch the hem of his garment yes, up, I know I'll be made whole. Amen? Yes, sir. Amen. Come on, Sarah. We're going to talk about Abraham what? Yeah. I that was a woman, the mother of many nations. Amen. Was barren until her old age. Having a baby at night. You know they laughed at her. You know that she even laughed when the prophet told her. Amen. Abraham. A hundred. I'm in my nineties and sitting up here pregnant with a child. I'm 51 years old. I can't even imagine that. But God said he'll give me no more than I can bear. Thank you, Jesus. But she had to go through. Because she knew the promise that God had promised. And he told Abraham he was going to bless his seed, seed, seed. See, you don't understand people praise. Let's talk about Mary. Ah, Jesus' mother. While she was walking around pregnant. As a teenager, teen pregnancy, you know how folks want to talk about teenagers to get pregnant. And then she had the audacity to say she was still a virgin. Now, you don't know the cost she had to go through while she walked around and told them she was not, not had relationships with no man, but was conceived by the Holy Ghost. You think they believed her? No, they ain't believe her. They talked about her. Joseph said if he would put it out that he did not touch her and they found out she was pregnant, they would have killed her. Because in those days, it was death if you wasn't married. That sin was unto death. They killed you right then. But God had a purpose. That thing cost her something. How about Eve, the first mother in the Bible? Everybody always talk about the bad. But if it hadn't been for Adam and Eve, we wouldn't have been here. Amen? But she had to go through stuff. God said, now when you birth 
a child, it will be pain. When you go for a birth in a child, it's pain. But once that child comes, it's nothing but the glory of God. But it's going to cost you something. Amen. Amen. Elizabeth, who was barren. Amen. She wanted a child so bad. She cried and wept. Then when Jesus blessed her, she gave him back to God. Amen. It's going to cost you something. Amen. Deborah, the first judge. Amen. The first woman prophet. Amen. Over the nation of Israel. Now you think about that. Everybody else before her were men. And, and, and y'all can't receive a woman preacher. And this was in the Old Testament. Come on, somebody. Hello? It's going to cost you something. Because God said in the Word, amen, that in Acts 2 and 17, and it shall come to pass in the last day, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters yeah. shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision. And your old men shall dream dreams. Yeah, Amen. Preach, preach this thing going to cost you something. You can't take my joy. I, I'm not willing to give it up to you. By being caught up in what you say. Or what you do. It costs me too much. I refuse to get in church. Do everything God told me to do. And still go to hell. Over some mess. The devil is a lie. This thing's going to cost you something. It's my praise. Praise is what I do. If you don't like me praising me, your house, just sit me on the outside and I'll still praise him. Amen? Put me in a corner and I can't help but praise him. Amen? Put me outside by the railroad and I'll give him glory. It doesn't matter where we act up. My God is worthy of all the glory yes, and all the praise. Pre he, ha, that's the forgiver of my sins. Yes, See, you don't know what I went through. Mm. When I could have died in my mess and it still stuck there with me. Yes, I know the word said the Lord don't hear a sinner's prayer. But I had a praying mama. I had a praying grandmama. I had a praying daddy. Yes, that asked God, uh, to hear my prayers. Uh, so don't give up on your children. No, sir. Don't give up on your family. No, uh. God has the last say. So yeah. you keep praying and trusting him, God. Watch him do it. He'll do everything Preacher. but fail. Yep, everything. Yep, whatever you're going through. Mm -hmm. At this time. Yep, in this moment. God is able. Hey. Praise your way out of it. Yes, sir. Let them think you lost your mind, but you give God glory. Yes, sir. In the midst of your praise. My mind. Cause the words say trouble don't last always. No, sir. This too will pass. Yeah. I'm coming out of this with my hands up. Whoa. I'm coming out of this with a praise. With a praise. Yes, sir. I'm coming out of this. Giving them glory. I'm coming out of this with a more powerful anointing. I'm coming out of this stronger. I'm going to be wiser. I'm going to be better than I ever was before. Don't think you can bring me anything. Bring trash my way. It won't work. Because this time, I'm coming out. Giving them all the glory. All the honor. All the praise uh, for everything he have done in my life. For everything he brought me over. I could have been dead simply in my grave. Yes, sir. But God had a plan. God had a plan. And how many of you know God's plan is not like me? Mm -mm. Yes, sir. So, this praise costs me something. Yes, sir. And you don't know the, you don't know the cost of my praise. Uh. That's why I walk around with my head up. Yes, sir. That's why I smile. Yeah. In spite of you talking about me. Yes, sir. In spite of your lying on me. Yo, yo. In spite of your using. Yes, sir. In spite of. A songwriter wrote, Must Jesus bear mm. the cross alone 
and all the world go free. But there's a cross for everyone. Yes, sir. And there's a cross for me. So when you get your cross and it starts getting a little heavy and you start leaning to one side, well, you just keep on moving, baby. Yes, keep on giving them glory. Keep giving them the praise. And you'll feel the cross get lighter yeah. and lighter. Because I want to reign with Jesus, I'll reap what he reap. He reap. I'll go through whatever I have to go through. Yes, sir. Because I'm trying to see the king for myself. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is not our home. No. Our home is in heaven. Yes. Amen. God said he's going to wipe the earth and get it right for us to come down just to give him the praise. Heaven is our home. Mm -hmm. This thing, amen, is going to cost you something. Yes. So just count up the cost. Count it out, joy, when you're falling into divers temptation. Mm -hmm. Knowing this, yes. that the trying of your faith Working. worketh patience. Mm -hmm. And knowing when patience have its best work, perfect work, Wanting for nothing. Yes, You're going to come out victorious. Mm -hmm. So let them know. This cost me something. And you don't know. Why I go through like I go through. Why I can smile. In the midst of my pain. Because I know. God is going to see me through. That is what God gave me. On this Mother's Day. Amen. You don't know the cost of my praise. Amen. Amen. I thank God for everyone. Everyone that came out. Everyone that came in on this broadcast. Thank you. I can only do what God tells me to do. So I give him all the glory. I give him all the praise. And I'm sending out an invitation for you to get it right. But I, because I don't care how many good things you do for people. I don't care. God said if you give your body to be burned, if you give up all you have, and you have not love, it profits you nothing. So I'm telling you now. To come to Christ. Give your hand to Christ. And I'm not going to say the trouble going to go away. But it won't look the same. Because it will be something bigger than what you're going through. That you can depend on. You can depend on Jesus. So whatever we going through. Whatever the situation look like. We're going to make it. We don't have to wait till the battle is over. We praise him right now. Because he alone is worthy. And we give him all the glory. Yes, sir. And we give him all the praise. God, touch everyone, God. Bless everyone on this day, God. God, men broken hearts, God. Heal sickness and diseases, God. Touch those in the rest homes. Those we can't reach, God. Send your ministering angels out to them, God. Those in the prisons, God. God, those that's not in their right mind, God. Touch, Father. Restore, God. Renew, God. Bring us back to our first love. We're trusting and we're believing in you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Should the shadows come. Yes, I God. Hallelujah. Why should my heart yes, I God. feel lonely? Yes, oh Lord. For long. Hallelujah. For heaven. Yes, I God. At home. Mm, thank you, Jesus. When Jesus yes, is mm. A constant friend is he. 
I'm happy. Hallelujah. I sing mm. because I'm free. Mm. His mm. eye mm. is on ah. the should I feel this discouraged? Mm. Why oh, should God. the shadows come? Mm. Oh, For I know his eyes is on the sparrow oh, and I know he watches me. Be encouraged my brothers and sisters after an awesome word of God from our woman of God. We just thank God for her and how God used her in a mighty way. Pray for us. We'll be praying for you. May God bless you. Have a smile on you. We love you. And if anyone out there that don't know Christ in a part of your sins, this is your opportunity to give God your heart. You may give me your hand, but give God your heart. He knows. All you have to do is ask him to forgive you for all the wrongs that you have done. And he's faithful and just to come and forgive you of all your sins. We pray for you. We love you. May God bless you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that's out there that raised their children. Whether you gave birth to the child or not, you may have been a mother figure for them. We thank God for you mothers that didn't give up. When times got hard, you didn't give up. When you didn't have the money or the food, you didn't give up. You trust in the Lord. And you lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, you acknowledge Him and He, he direct your path. Thank God for a good mother that prayed for us and anointed us and chastised us and, and, and drug us to church. Thank God for them. We thank God for you. May God bless you. We love you. But First Lady and I, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Thank you.